Buongiorno a tutti. Um, welcome back to my life not in quarantine. Um, we officially are like sort of out of lockdown. We're in like phase two, I think. So I just wanted to like take you guys along and just show you guys some of the stuff we've been doing lately because we've been able to get out of the house a lot more. So me and my cousin have been trying to just like go on walks, go to like, uh, like yesterday we went to some Roman ruins and then we went and walked around town. And um, also I moved into a new apartment a few weeks ago. So I thought I'd give you all like a little apartment tour um, just because I don't know, some stuff has changed last time I talked about like the quarantine situation here. Okay, so I'm gonna give a little apartment tour. Um, it's really small, but it's really cute and it's like the perfect size and it just, it really could not be any more perfect because it's literally like a 20 second walk from my family's house. It's actually technically a part of the house. So the house that my family lives in right now, um, it's like been passed down through our family. The apartment that I'm in right now was actually once a part of the house that my great grandmother owned. All right, so this is my little apartment. We have a nice big bed. We have the bathroom, super cute, super small, European vibe. We got our bed and then this beautiful view. And this is my view out of my bedroom window. We have some beautiful gardens of our neighbors. All of these trees right here are lemon trees. And then all these are olive trees and then there's some kiwi trees in the back. But it's super beautiful and you can actually see right there, that's part of my family's um, garden, but you can see it better from the terrace, which I'll show y'all. And then it's so small, this is literally it, but we have my kitchen right here. And then this leads to the terrace, which I'll go up real quick. And then we have another beautiful view. Beautiful, and then you can actually see right there, that's the island of Ischia. Okay, it's really graceful every time I come up here. I literally have to like haul myself out of the window, so let's go. <laughs> I cannot tell you how many bruises I've gotten from coming out here. Hey MTV and welcome to my crib. It's stunning, it is absolutely stunning. I mean like it really doesn't get any better than this at all. So that's my, my house right there. And so like this half kind of is my family's house and then the rest of this they like separated off and now new people own it but it's all technically this is all part of my great grandmother's house. That MTV is my crib. That took all of about 10 seconds because it's about 10 feet by 10 feet. But um, I spend most of my time up here on the terrace, um, tanning and doing yoga. Um, I really feel so lucky because this apartment is amazing. I like my afternoons like I like my drinks on the rocks. Just kidding, I actually hate drinking. Um, but I'm actually finally able to go down to the beach by my house because before there was like some restrictions and I tried walking down to the beach and I'd get some mean glares from some um, crazy Italian old women. So I can finally freely come down to the beach. So this area is called Polo and this is the little like village town that my family lives in. Um, and so this is where I came growing up, um, going to the beach. It is stunning. It's so nice to see people out. You can see like a whole bunch of families um, from this little area are like out and about walking. And there's some people, there's actually one person in the water. They're not technically allowed to be in the water, but it is nice to see people out. And so this is where my family lives. That's my family's house right there. So like this front side is my family's house. And then on the other side is where my apartment is. So this is where I take all my beautiful pictures. And if you can hear that barking, that's actually Addis. I don't know if you can see him, but that's that little black dot, that's him. You can hear him all the way down from the beach. And so if you see these little cross walkways, that's how you get down to the beach. So it's only like a three minute walk. 
going on a run to some Roman ruins with a beautiful sunset. going out in about three months super excited got my accessory so me and Anna are just gonna go walk here on Sorrento we're technically allowed to go out but there's just like still some restrictions like to the amount of space you can have between people in public so like even though we're allowed to leave we have to stay like the six feet apart from each other like we can't you know greet our friends or family and then we're technically only allowed to be leaving the house to see family or go to the grocery store or the doctor or what be it The combination of my pants being a wee bit tight from quarantine and this mask, it is nearly impossible to breathe. We just walked all throughout Sorrento, the town. There is not too many people. I thought there'd be a lot more people. Everyone's wearing masks, so it's a little like odd, but I don't know, it feels nice to be out and back to somewhat sort of normalcy. I don't know. 